Hey, just want to put together a small video today about my chalking technique. Well, I thought it would be kind of interesting to see what could happen, and I, I actually want to demonstrate on video, so I can be done talking about it, and it's just preserved. Um, there's really five things I want to talk about. Uh, here it is. Uh, use a good amount of chalk. Don't rub it in or on it. Don't rub it on or in. Grind the chalk with a death vice-like grip. Take your time until it feels right. Um, those are really the main aspects and uh, I'd like to actually show what that means. Okay, here's my little chalk bucket, uh, here's a galvanized pipe. I have not tried to chalk this, I have actually done this in the past, before, uh, just to show you, move this back, here is a, a homemade V-bar I, I made. And here's the previous pipe. You can, if you can notice the, the real difference, this one on top is really chalk, this one isn't. <sighs> okay. Now what I actually want to show is when you're chalking any type of grip implement, it doesn't really matter what what you're using uh, this should this chalking method should really be about getting an implement to season fairly quick now I've seen it where uh, Jed Johnson talked about a technique that I believe Lucas Raymond may uh, uses where he'll take a certain amount and just start rubbing it in uh, I want to say this first and foremost that is not how I do this chalking method. Now I already went over the four points really, but when you are attempting to chalk, chalk an implement of any kind, you really, really, really want to use a good amount of chalk. You know, just don't use a small amount. Just get a handful if you got uh, broken up chalk like this use a good amount just stick it on there now to me I'm saying don't rub it in because that's gonna take a long time what you want to do is grind it in uh, if you can see here it's starting to already stick Almost any implement I have used this on, it chalks up instantly. I've done this on a few barbell plates. Um, now again, like I was saying, get some chalk on there and grind it. Don't just grind it, I mean really feel it out. Get a death grip. Go back and forth. Oh, sorry. Bad idea. Okay, uh, but anyhow. As you can kind of see, it's starting to stick already. Let me make sure that there's no chalk on there. Um, and this... Just take your time with this.
Now, this is just an old pipe I used for whenever I had a Euro implement. But it's serving the purpose well to demonstrate now. This technique can really be used on any implement. A Euro, a flask, the Iron Mine hub. Um, there is one thing I want to try because I've never actually done it, I want to see if it will actually work. I want to see if this will actually work on this black pipe. It may work, it may not, I, I don't know, so I'm going to see. Well, I'll be. See, rubbing on this pipe, uh, rubbing kind of goes away after a little. You grind it in like you're, you're just trying to choke somebody to death. You really get it in there. Don't do a light grip grip it with everything you got this is actually the first time I ever attempted this see that's just some loose chalk right there and it, it's coming off instantly this is on there pretty good Jeez, I didn't actually think this would actually chalk up like this. <laughs> kind of surprised about that. Um, the reason why I made this video is because, you know, I, I've actually been asked about my chalking technique. Now, I hope everything worked in this video for you. Um, again, uh, use a good amount of chalk. Don't use a small amount. Actually get a good, fair amount of chalk on there. Small handful, huge claws of it, it's up to you. Uh, you can also use chalk, uh, blocks of chalk. Uh, you can break it up, it's however you want, but you want to be able to get a fair amount on the implement itself. Uh, again, don't rub it on or in. The main aspect is grind the chalk with a death vice-like grip. I mean, give it everything you got. Um, and the most important thing is really take your time to feel out how the chalk feels to you, uh, especially like with uh, the flask or the iron mine hub. When you actually are using those implements, feel how, how well that chalk is. I mean, if it's not chalked right to your feel, don't, don't lift but when you actually get that right feel and how the chalk is and the texture you'll you'll just know um one of the things i really suggest if you have it um if you have like a cast iron or a competition style kettlebell practice your chalk technique you're chalking on that. A um, few other pointers that we'll s mention about chalking itself. Um, if you're not used to this, it can actually wear your grip out pretty good and pretty fast. But again, you're you're grinding it almost like your sand paper. It's just sandpaper gripping down onto something. Um, one quick pointer, 
where I learned this chalking method was not actually experimenting, finding it out on myself. I actually learned from a kettlebell specialist from a free video called uh, How to Chalk a Kettlebell from Valerie Federico. Please excuse me if I got the name wrong. That is... Sometimes I just cannot get last names right. But anyhow, uh, one of the things he talks about in the video is how to remove the chalk. This is where some confusion began a long time ago is I never remove the chalk from any implement that I use. As a matter of fact, I even do it on hand grippers. Uh, this is a number four, really heavy one actually. Uh, the chalking technique actually kind of started with the hub and then the blockbuster pinch grip and then migrate to grippers where I would actually only take one handle, grind it in like this and I wouldn't even worry about the other handle and it, it stayed on pretty good and it helped the gripper stay in place pretty well. You can pretty much almost chalk any item you want in this manner. Now if it's like powder coated, it's going to stick on there pretty good. Uh, what I really suggest, and I think I already said this before, practice on a kettlebell, a cast iron one or competition style kettlebell. This this is the kind I'm talking about. Because trust me, those will actually take a good long while to to chalk up. I I think it took me I don't know, maybe 10 20 minutes to actually get a good fair amount of chalk on that particular kettlebell. It will actually teach you how to use the technique right, but it can be time consuming with kettlebells with, uh, like I showed with the pipe. It can go on almost instantly. And one implement that I tried this out on was the Euro after I, I remembered, oh yeah, my chalking technique. And this implement could not hold chalk before, and as soon as I d did all the steps that I just showed you in this, this video, it just chalked up like you wouldn't believe. It just, it held the chalk. I was able to lift a little bit more but man, you want to talk about an implement that that was slick, and then bam, it was just holding chalk pretty well. Um, I don't really have a whole lot more to say. It's just when you're talking up your implement, really get that that death like or the the death grip, or vice grip, whatever you want to call it, and just grind that chalk in. Don't be afraid to spend some time on this, but don't over chalk it. it it's kind of one of those things that you have to play around with, and once you really get it down, it will help you with implements and all I have to say is, all power to you guys. Have fun.